love welcome to your weekly reading for the element of earth for december 10th through 16th and we're gonna start with taurus okay so all right spirit what do you have for taurus for december 10th through 16th what would you like them to know be aware of pay attention to assess at this time of December 10th through 16th okay so on the bottom of the deck you have the temperance this is about patience creating balance in your life Okay, you may have felt like things were up in the air or you had a decision to make about two things that you wanted to keep around in your life, like they were actually important. Um, things that you wanted to manifest or actually hold on to, okay? Um, there is that two again, okay? So it's all about making decisions here, okay? Um, starting, it feels like starting something new that is secure. Um, prioritizing what is more important than the other, okay? And it has to do with your happiness or maybe family, okay? Um, and now you're trying to balance things, create harmony within your life, create harmony within a situation. Um, it also could be a sense of purpose, making a decision on a sense of purpose. Um, it also uh, it talks about patience. So you have to have patience in the decisions that you're making, okay? Because I feel like you're trying to put a conclusion on something that has two different choices um, and you want to be in union with what is best for you okay so you are trying really hard to make a decision you want to win you want to make the best choice with the least amount of conflict I feel um, even though I feel like you're gonna create it whatever you do it's going to create conflict okay but you just want to make the best decisions that have results that you can actually live with is what I'm getting with this card okay you want to actually be able to live with your decisions and not regret um, but I feel like you also don't want to wait let's see you want to put some sort of plan into action it could also be I'm hearing that someone is pushing you to make a decision. You may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this person is getting very demanding about you making a decision or a choice. or um, And they're slowly dwindling away or disappearing, um, contacting you less, that type of information. Okay, um, while you're trying to make your decision. It's like your decision is at the tip of your tongue, but you're not ready to say it or you're not ready to deal with it yet. You're not ready to um, follow through with what's going to happen when you do let go of what it is that you need to let go of. Okay, so what you're doing right now is trying to create a sort of stalemate or a block because you don't want to say what you want to say. You don't want to make that almost final decision. And I feel like it has something to do with fear. It has something to do with fear about what it is that you have built. But you have to think about what you're going to build in the future. Okay? Are you ready to invest more time into this or do you want to invest time into something new? And that's what it is that you're deciding. I feel like your decision is to leave. I really do. But you don't want to say it. You're, it's like you're waiting for the other person to do it. Interesting. Okay. Your oracle card is play. So this is about taking time out for yourself, okay? This is about taking time out to enjoy what life has to offer, 
okay and I feel like this is probably what you want to do it's like you want to really end this so you can do other things but there is conflict maybe with family telling you that you need to stay with this person or you're getting old you need to get married that type of thing and there's conflict and tension about what it is that you want versus what it is that they want for you okay So next we have Virgo. Let me clear the cards. What do you have for Virgo? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of for the week of December 10th through 16th? Please only allow truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within these readings. Thank you so much. What do you have for Virgo? bottom of the deck you have the hermit <laughs> that is your card Virgo so that says to me that you're doing some soul searching probably being alone um, after heartbreak or needing to take separation from what's going on around you okay this is you maybe there's an opportunity being handed to you someone is trying to offer you something of security this could also be a new job this could be coming from a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius but i honestly feel like that's you needing to feel more secure in yourself more secure in the way that you feel about yourself being more vibrant exuberant um you may have found this new exuberance within yourself and you just want to focus more on that okay but you're feeling like in the long term this could be not good for you okay but right now it's like you just need that that recuperation time from being in untrustworthy relationships or dealing with things that are not good for your soul okay it's like your logical decision to do that and in chant and in turn that's you spending time with yourself okay doing some soul searching alone um getting to know yourself again okay so i feel like with the nine of cups um you're very satisfied being by yourself okay i feel like you might be working on things you may have a new hobby that you're dealing with but i just feel like you are focusing on yourself you're paying attention to yourself you're doing things for yourself okay and i feel like you're happy here you're very happy there but i also feel like you're waiting on your ships to come in like you're waiting for that perfect job you're waiting for that perfect relationship to come into you and you feel like it's going to be messages of love and i do see that there are messages coming in to you okay so it's like you're waiting on you're okay I feel as though you're not gonna manifest anything. You're waiting for someone to manifest things with you, okay? But I do feel like there is some communication or some movement coming in towards you, okay? I do feel like you are, you haven't quite made a choice with the two of pentacles, okay? And you are gonna balance the direction. You wanna make sure that you're both going in the same direction. This is important to you. Okay, you're not going to focus your time on someone that's not going in the same direction as you are, which is why you were waiting. You were waiting for a reason. You're not just going to jump into something. Okay, 
so so like I said before you're balancing what's important and what's not because you want this happiness the Sun the Sun comes with confidence and enlightenment and that's what it is that you have right now and that's what you're bringing okay you do feel good that you're getting these messages I feel because maybe you've worked on something in the past I don't know why I'm hearing you worked on something but you didn't know that you were working on it like this is something that came back around maybe um and you're kind of happy in this situation or with this or with this person but there needed to be some work done on the situation and you were waiting for that to happen and then the news come in comes in that it did but now you're prioritizing your time with that person or prioritizing your energy because you've spent so much time by yourself recuperating or you know being by yourself that you know you're not gonna use that on something that isn't gonna manifest into something stronger than that okay so your card is the law of attraction each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so invest wisely so have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony at your request we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies and that's what i feel like you're trying to do with the two of pentacles okay because i feel like there was a separation and someone is trying to come back but you are prioritizing because you were actually happy with yourself okay even though it is nice to know that this person is coming back around okay just heard cancer scorpio pisces for virgo so i i don't know why but i don't know okay <laughs> so next we have capricorn okay spirit what do you have for capricorn for the week of december 10th through 16th what would you like them to know be aware of pay attention to What would you like them to be aware of at this time for December 10th through 16th? Whoa, Capricorn. So on the bottom of the deck, you have strength. Okay. So this is about your own self-confidence. Strength is your own talents realizing who you are is what i heard okay so there's some burdens okay presented when someone comes into your life okay i feel like it's it's making you reevaluate what you got going on that's <laughs> that's just what i'm getting from that okay and you're trying to figure out if this is in harmony with your life or even how to bring it into harmony with your life you know is this a part of your purpose is this in harmony with what is supposed to be that's what i'm getting and you're trying to use your talents or the best of your knowledge to to understand that because with the strength i get the taming of the lion every time i hear it okay so it's like you're not letting your passions overtake you you're trying to be smart about the decisions you make about the people that you're choosing okay because you know capricorns they don't get a lot of love that comes in and out of their life you know people trying to to start things with them but when they do it just seems like that person just isn't wasn't what they thought they would be okay so I, that's why i think that you are taking time to figure out if this is the right person if this is who you want to bring into your life or if it is if if it even is worth your time and energy okay so with the high priestess some secrets are revealed to you and you're trying to decide if you want to start this new beginning maybe someone is confessing their feelings or love or trying to be in a relationship with you with the two of cups but i still feel like you're trying to put together if this is a part of the plan 
okay is this a part of the plan or is this just you reliving old habits and addictions to people this could also be somebody from the past especially with that energy but I feel like you want to you want to move forward with them you want to be on that same path I also feel like this person is very determined to start something new but you haven't quite made the choice yet I feel like you're just at the early stages so you don't really know what's happening and you can't really make a clear judgment okay but it's time for you to make a judgment okay with the judgment call it's like there needs to be a rebirth or a call you know you need to face reality about what's happening okay pay attention and see if this is something that isn't healthy for you especially with it being next to the devil card okay because it could be that you're very eager just to start something new okay that you don't see the problems that are ahead that you'll take a risk without even looking what you're running into but there could be an opportunity there could be that you need to let go of old ideas about this person and take the risk so that's why the hair the high priestess excuse me comes in because you also have to use your own to intuition about the potential of the relationship so you have to be clear on what it is that you're thinking okay and where it is that you want to put your willpower within this situation okay okay so your oracle card is the law of attraction each thought is an investment that it pays immediate dividends so invest wisely exactly so it's about where you're directing your thoughts are you directing your thoughts at this is a good example if you meet someone and you tell yourself that that's the person that you're going to be with forever it doesn't matter what they do or how they treat you you're going to assume that this is the person you're to be with it doesn't matter what they do because you're still going to believe that in your heart to give them a million chances if you say to yourself i don't like this person because he eats funny i mean that's just a really weird example but <laughs> If you say that, no matter what this person does, no matter how sweet, no matter how kind, you're just not going to be attracted to that person. So it's all about how you invest your thought process, okay? I would say to keep your mind open at this time, okay? Um, so you can see clearly. To, to me, I just feel like you need to see clearly, Capricorn, okay? Um, don't be so connected with the idea of being in a relationship that you don't see the problems behind this this devil energy okay it's like you're being called to make the right choice okay to take the right opportunity I don't know okay so thank you so much for listening I will see you next week I love you love and light